One of the most common questions that patients ask me is, how do I know if I have a cavity? And it's an interesting question because typically when a patient suspects that they have a cavity, it's because of they, they start to have symptoms with the tooth, which from a dentist's perspective, that tells us that it's an advanced cavity. What we mean by that is cavities typically start out very, very small. And let's go back and we'll talk about what a cavity is. What a cavity essentially is, is it's a hole in the tooth left behind from the bacteria that kind of harbor around the tooth. And typically cavities are caused by poor hygiene or high consumption of sugary beverages, things, things of that sort. What happens though is these holes that develop start out as asymptomatic, meaning you typically don't even know that they're there unless you're going in for routine examinations. We typically find that as the hole advances and it gets bigger, what it's essentially doing is it's getting deeper and closer to the nerve. It's once it gets to a certain distance to within the nerve, that's when we start to see symptoms. So again, the question is how do you know if you have a cavity on a tooth? Assuming that you didn't see a dentist recently, you would have some symptoms such as uh, lingering cold sensitivity, possibly biting sensitivity, throbbing pain that could come and go, um, things that just don't seem right. A tooth that seemed normal one day and all of a sudden it doesn't can typically be a sign that you may have a cavity on that tooth. Certainly you can do a visual observation to look on the teeth and you're, what you're looking for is anything like dark lines or anything that looks sticky. And typically as a dentist, when we find that it gets to the point where you actually start to have symptoms with it, that it's typically a much more advanced cavity. Whereas if you go to the dentist on a regular basis, we can typically catch these before they present any sort of problem. But they can be caught based on the symptoms and certainly by visual observation. How, however, it is recommended that you get regular checkups every six months so that we might find those before they start to become and give you symptoms and stuff like that.